Hello everyone, so today we are going to solve the pattern 18 question. So let's see what is the question is. So this is the question. It's it seems like butterfly. <laughs> okay, it seems like butterfly. So we are going to solve this question. So let's cut it and go to the board and see how we will deal with this question. So here you can see in the first line there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 star. In the last line there is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 star. Then here is 1 star here, 1 star here and between there is spaces. Here is also spaces, here is 1 star, here is 1 star. Let's see what is the number of rows. 1 row, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means there is 7 number of rows also and 7 number of columns. Now, try to solve this question. Here you can see there is spaces. Try to solve this question. Put the stars here. I put the stars everywhere. So, try to draw it clearly. Put the stars here. One star, two star, three star. Then here is also star. So, I fill this all with star. Then, at the last, I am trying to find out that how we can put the spaces. First, try to solve this with star. Now, if we solve this with star, see the first line. N is equal to 7. So, spaces and star. There is no spaces, but 7 star. In the next line, see, there is 1 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 star. 1 spaces, 5 star. Next line, there is 2 spaces and 3 star. Next line, there is 3 spaces, 1 star. Next line, there is two spaces, three star. Then one spaces and star is one, two, three, four, five, five star. And at last there is zero spaces, seven star. So it looks like the similar of the other problem. Like after the midpoint, the spaces are decreasing and the stars are increasing. Before the midpoint, the spaces are increasing and stars are decreasing. So, all of we know that how to solve this kind of problem. So, for that we need to find that the spaces are started from where? Here you can see the spaces are started from 0 and the stars are starting from n. That what is the value of the n is going to store at the variable star. Now, trying to try to solve this in the screen here. So, first take the input scn dot next int sn dot next int now for int i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus this is the outer loop and for the next line we are going to use system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln okay now deal with the stars and the spaces for that we see that the stars are starting from n and the spaces are starting from 0. Now print it here that before the midpoint like if i is less than equal to n divided by 2 we are going to decrease the star value. So star value is we are going to decrease the star value by 2. So minus equal to 2. Else we are going to decrease the star value sorry increase the star value by 2. Now try to print the patterns for int j is equal to 1, j less than equal to star j plus plus. Spaces, first print the spaces. So for spaces, system dot out dot print and print the spaces. So for that only tab. Okay. Now, in the next line, print for the stars. Print for the stars. So, here is star and print all the value of stars. Now, check what we will get in the output. What event? So, if i less than equal to n divided by 2, or it is printing the half. So, give the value 5. Now, check. 
Why is printing the half? Okay, first we have to print the star. We need to spin the star also. Control Z. So copy this. Control Z. Copy this. Copy this and put it here. First we have to print the stars, then the spaces. Now see what we'll get. See getting the half. Why this is this is happening? Okay, okay, man. was right previous was right actually what i do here that here you can see that the spaces are increasing but i have not put i did not put the spaces here so i have to put the spaces here also spaces are also increasing and here spaces are decreasing now run the run it and see so we are getting what we want now see now we have to put the spaces here and here so what we can do see the line see the line here this is the i so what we can do when i is greater than one right and i is also less than less than equal to n by two then we are going to printing the spaces and one more condition is here when j is, is equal to is equal to one means j is starting from 1 and j's value is equal equals to the star value so if j is equal equals to the star then we are going to printing the stars otherwise we are going to printing the spaces so let's do what i am saying that means i means i want to say that i want to tell you that if i is greater than 1 and i is less than equal to n divided by 2 also j is greater than 1 and j is less than equal to star because here see g is depending upon the star I'm sorry g not j j is depending upon the star that's why we have to put here that j if j is less than equal to star then we are going to printing the spaces otherwise print the star system dot out dot print the spaces print the spaces otherwise print the star else print the star so cut it from here and put it here otherwise print the star now run it and check what we are getting in the output. Yeah, I think I miss here one thing. Okay, okay, okay. I put here the I less than equal to it will be I less than because here you can see this is the star and we want the spaces before that. So for that we need to put here. Here you can see it's showing the accepted. Now submit it and check all the test cases are passes or not. Here you can see all the test cases are passes. That means it is the correct code. Hope all of you enjoy this video and learn how to solve this pattern number 18 question and I will see you in the next video. Bye.